My research position in the Institute for Food and Agriculture focuses on two main topics. One is increasing the competitiveness of California production and the other one is developing computer-based forecast models to help California agriculture. And in August I will transition to the Department of Agriculture Business and I will continue to develop original cutting-edge researchers there as well as I will start teaching and advising students which, which is really exciting. The valley around Fresno is the food basket of the nation. In addition there are a number of special crops that I'm familiar with such as grape, pistachios, almonds, pomegranates and coupled with advantageous transportation routes and proximity of the ports in California which can strengthen the economic of the state and Fresno, which they give me a tremendous advantage being in Fresno. I was born in Antalya, Turkey, on the Mediterranean coast, and most of the agriculture production are very similar to that of California. After my graduation, I work very close to agricultural production and also food industry. So I had seven years experience on food industry while I was in Turkey, then I carried those experience to academic work. My prior experiences in agricultural economics includes but not limited to international trade and export marketing, water management, food safety, farm management, and also computer applications in agribusiness. All those factors excellent fit for my interest and the interest of the Institute. I met with Dr. Peggy in my first years while I was in the University of Florida. So when this position opened, I had a contact with him and we saw the excellent fit of the position and my interest. I advised one of the honor program students in agribusiness department. His research focuses on the irrigation techniques on table grape production. In his study, he aims to conduct a feasibility analysis and risk analysis on using different irrigation techniques. I have been working on pesticide use, economic analysis of mechanization in wine grape production, and recently I am working on the impact of Trans-Pacific Partnership on dairy industry. The United States is still in the progress of negotiation uh, for free trade agreements in the Trans-Pacific Partnership. My study evaluates the impact of TPP on the U.S. dairy trade. It also compares the new trade allocation among the big dairy exporters among the U.S., New Zealand and Australia. California is the largest milk producer and also the exporter in the nation. And their industry and other stakeholders have some uh, concerns on TPP negotiations, uh, which might suppress their export to TPP countries, as well as TPP might have export diverting impact, which decrease total export of the U.S. It's important to point out or conduct a detailed economic analysis on this negotiation which would elevate the concern of farmers and other stakeholders. My research generally focuses on farm level, thus microeconomics. However, there are some studies that weren't microeconomic perspective such as trade and the impact of Trans-Pacific Partnership on California production. Considering the allocation of my studies, I balance between micro and macro as much as possible. Some other areas that I'm interested in are water management and also food safety. Water management is an exciting topic for me. Urban water demand and the impact of policies on water quality Given that we have three-year drought in California, the analysis on water quantity would be an ex exciting research area as well. 
The other area of food safety is one of my research topics that I have started working while I was in Turkey. I'm really excited to, to take my research experience on campus and integrate it into the teaching. It would be great to help students to understand their value in this industry and acquire crucial management abilities and execution abilities that could solve the problems around them and I'm really looking forward to it.